Act. Action. Take action. This is the number one thing I see people not doing. And e even Jack Canfield, who was in the movie The Secret with, with me and a bunch of other people, he says, the law of attraction has the word action in it. You are supposed to act. The fifth step in my book, The Attractor Factor, is action. When you get an inspired action, and that is, a lot of you took action to come here and come from some long distances. That's wonderful. I applaud you for doing that. That's part of what we're talking about, to create what you want, to attract what you want, whether it is money or anything else. You must take action. When people ask me, Joe, how have you written 50-some books? How are you in 13 movies? How do you have all these CDs? How do you have these coaching programs? How do you have... Um, you know, all these travels and these events and these television shows and blah, 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 the list goes on. I take action. Now, it doesn't all happen at the same time. You know, when you, you keep doing this, 30 years later, you look back and go, oh, I, I wrote 50 books. I came out with so many music CDs. You do one thing at a time. Right now, I am here with you. That is my action. I am here with you, receiving information, sharing information with you, helping you to the best of my ability so that you can have, do, or be the dreams that you want. Now, as I'm telling you about taking action, I really got to turn the fire under you a little bit here. I mean, I'm called Mr. Fire for a reason, so I'm going to go ahead and ignite the burner. A, a couple, here's the kick that you were looking for, yeah. <laughs> it's a polite and loving kick, but it's, it's a reminder. So a couple Mondays ago, I was getting a massage. And the woman who gives me a massage, uh, we talk for a little bit, but usually I zone out and then I'm gone. And she said that she wouldn't be able to give me a, a massage the next week because she was going to be out of town. And I said, that, you know, that's cool. What are you going for? Well, a friend of hers, who's not even a really close friend, but a friend of hers was given three months to live. And I said, what? And she said, yeah, the woman was having dizzy spells and so forth. She went and had some tests done and they found out that she's got a brain tumor. And they said, it's large enough that you have three months to live. Well, the woman was confused and surprised, but she was also into natural things and green things. So she did the raw food. She did a bunch of uh, things that were very natural, well, all things I probably would have done as well. And she said, I feel great. And she went back, and the, the doctors and everything put her back in the MRI. And they said, look, what you're doing is wonderful, but your tumor is bigger. You have less than three months. And then I went into my massage, and I'm laying there, and I spent the next hour or so wondering what would I do if I had three months to live? What would I do? And I couldn't come up with anything different than what I'm doing, so I'm apparently doing my love and I'm doing my passion. But my question to you is, can you all say the same thing? For most of us, there's things that we want to do that we keep putting off. And I'm saying, we don't know. I told you about going to see my mother. Her days are numbered. I don't know if she's got days or weeks or a few months, and, and of course, there could be a miracle. It could be much longer. But she's checking out. And so I, as her son and her firstborn, I'm feeling that, and I'm looking at her going, did she complete everything? What would she do if she knew exactly how much time was left? What would I do if I knew that there was three months left? What is this woman going to do? And I'm, I'm actually really turning this into a meditation, and I'm putting it on your lap, and I'm saying, Look, talking about you taking action is fine. I can write about it, and I have in the attractor factor. Your coach can get on the phone with you and tell you about taking action. But until you realize that your days are truly numbered and your being here is a true gift, this is a gift to you, and that you can use your time wisely, whatever that thing is that's been knocking on your inner door, much like music was knocking on my inner door to go and create, whatever that thing is for you, by God, get up and do it. You don't have to complete it today, but you do have to start to go in that direction. People have asked me how I've been able to write so many books, and what I tell them, if you write a little bit every day, you end up with a book very quickly. If there's something that you're trying to create, but you've been putting it off or not putting full effort behind it, I'm strongly encouraging you to put your effort behind it. And again, the clearer you are, the faster you manifest. If you've had some doubts about things, like you don't think you're the right person or it's not the right time, it's time to question those and say they're beliefs. They are not facts. You are the right person. This is the right time. There is nobody else to do this. I have lost friends, and I look back and I go, I don't see a replacement. It's the old It's a Wonderful Life movie with Jimmy Stewart 
when they say that a person, when the person leaves, they leave this big gaping hole. Don't assume that somebody's just going to pick up the fire and go and do the project that you really want to do. Whatever it is that you're being called to do, you are being called to do it. There are so many stories of so many people have either come to this country with nothing or in one shape or way, shape, or form, even with me being homeless at some point in poverty. That's not unusual. There are people who have had things to overcome, but they overcame them by taking action, by getting clear, by getting support, by getting a coach, by doing all the different things we're talking about. 